Today, I want to show and explain to you how my beautiful diamond engagement and wedding ring can be cheaper than this beautiful velvet Diane von Furstenberg blazer or even this Levi denim that I have. I was part of the drama club at high school and the one day this friend of mine shared that her parents took her out over the weekend and bought her 16 new shirts and she was just telling us about all the different styles and colors and things like that and my mind almost exploded thinking like who gets 16 new shirts over a weekend um, that is an insane amount of clothes and she was telling us like how much it costs and so on and she was obviously very excited about um, her parents spoiling her as much as they did and i had this idea um, while she was talking that and she was showing off some of these pieces as well that i would rather exchange like a few of those t-shirts and buy a higher quality item that i know that i can wear for a much longer period of time because I could already see that this clothing is not gonna last as long as I want my clothes to last. So that brings me to today's video. Although I had this idea as a teenager already, I realized today that it's still the truth. Some things you are able to wear over and over again and it still looks pristine and perfect and I actually want to wear it. I'm invested into that item. I am still turned on by that item. It still brings me joy. Whereas other things might lose its luster and you think, I am really just not into it anymore. I wanna go into some of the numbers behind this idea of cost per wear to maybe um, trigger something within you to make you think about your closet and your clothing in a whole new way. So simply put, you take the price of an item and you divide it by the amount of days you will actually wear it. And then that dollar value or rand value or euro value or whatever it might be, that is gonna be what the actual cost is for you to wear that item that day. So if I end up wearing this sweater a thousand times instead of 20 times, it's gonna cost me way less per day if I wear it, right? But it's difficult to calculate like exactly how many times you are gonna wear an item. But that is where the fun comes in and where the challenge comes in as well, where you have to ask yourself, how many times will I actually wear an item in order for me to justify the price behind that item? If I'm gonna wear something literally thousands of times, maybe it is worth spending more money on the quality of an item, the workmanship, um, the raw materials being used, and so forth. So let's start with a simple example that we all can relate to, a pair of denim. We're gonna have a slightly more affordable pair at $80 and a more expensive one at $150. But say you can only wear the $80 um, pair that you have a total amount of 30 times and then you may be not into it anymore. But for the other one, you wear it 90 times. If you break down that cost, you can see that the one you actually end up paying more for, but you wear it a lot more, is gonna work out to be much cheaper per day. So the cost per wear is gonna be much lower. For the next example, let's take a silk scarf. Say you pay $120 for this silk scarf and you wear it once a month for about 20 years because silk scarves can really last a very long time. That is gonna be 240 wears in total. That's only 50 cents per wear. And the nice thing is a silk scarf isn't something like a pair of denim that is gonna be worn out. You can definitely still pass that on to someone else and give it to your niece or your daughter or anyone special to you. But now let's think about those once off type of occasions, right? Let's think about a bridesmaid's dress, for example. Those can be pretty expensive and how much are you actually going to wear it? or a Halloween costume. It might be much cheaper than a bridesmaid's dress, but still it works out to be quite expensive and you might not wanna be the same character year after year. 
Or let's think about a festival or another themed event where you want to go as a character or you really want like a special outfit for all of those pictures that will go onto Instagram. Or we can even think about a cheap example where you buy a $30 t-shirt just because it was nice and you saw it, you didn't really plan for it, you only wear it twice it ends up being $15 a wear. But now, let's take an example of something that you will probably wear every single day of your life. An engagement ring or a wedding ring, or perhaps even a very special piece of jewelry that you will wear most days or every week. So let's take the engagement ring as an example. That is something that you will probably wear around 50 to 60 years, which will end up being thousands of days. Say you pay $10,000 for that ring, that costs you around 50 cents a day. If you pay $5,000 for a ring, that's gonna be around 20 cents per day, which really is actually insane to think about, that your Target t-shirt might end up being more expensive than the beautiful piece of jewelry that you wear every single day. So what are some of the advantages if you can get that cost per wear down? In other words, spending more money but wearing it for a much longer period of time. Number one, you're gonna end up with a very high quality item. So if you are gonna buy intentionally for something to last, you're gonna have something with really beautiful detailing, something of a higher um, quality and the fabrics or the materials being used, they were selected to last and they're gonna be more luxurious. You might end up buying from an aspirational brand or a brand that you always um, hope to buy from. Someone who, or a brand that really takes care of designing and manufacturing an item worthwhile. But then of course, we're gonna have some cons. It's gonna be much slower for you to build up a wardrobe or a selection of jewelry pieces on clothing that is gonna be of higher quality and perhaps a higher dollar value. So you might have to wear the things that you have at this very moment for a longer period of time and really stretch that out, get your bang for your buck while you save up in order to buy something that is of higher quality. So say you buy, um, you are used to buying three or four new um, coats every um, winter. You might end up only buying one this winter and really save up so you can invest in a better quality piece next winter. You also have to get used to re-wearing some of your things and getting confident in pairing it up in new and creative ways if you are a type of person who gets tired of wearing the same outfit on repeat. The maintenance of clothing is going to become more important to you. So if you wash it, tailor it, take it to the dry cleaners, you really want to make sure you do all of those things correctly in order for the quality to remain pristine. And then for those events where you want to wear a once-off um, item, you are a bridesmaid or you are going to a dresser party, I encourage you to look into your wardrobe for inspiration and maybe try and wear something that you already have and only add one new item instead of a full new costume. Another way could be to rent something or borrow from a friend or even go to a thrift shop and get it in a more sustainable way. A clothes swapping party is always a really good idea. Does this mean you have to get each and every item you own under that $1 mark? No, of course not. If you are in a position where you can afford nicer things and you don't have to re-wear all the things that you have all the time, that is perfectly fine. But I think it is a very good idea for all of us to shop a little bit more consciously, not just because of our own budget and wardrobe, but really the cost overall to um, the planet and to waste and to really just overconsumption. Um, and also, this might be a good idea for you to really take a moment and know that if you buy something of a higher value, you might get your bang for your buck. And you might not buy 16 t-shirts over one weekend and rather just buy one and be perfectly happy with that. So I hope that today's video gave you a new perspective and might trigger something inside of your brain to take new factors into consideration when making a decision. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I will see you next week. Bye.